Hey, 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 this young monk, you tapped in with Smoke Session. And today I got Pittsburgh's own Bully Wiz. Yay! Bully Wiz! You know what to do. Yeah, and hey, we just gonna, you know, get straight to it. What is Backpack Boys? Backpack Boys is the finest smoke in the motherfucking area. Anything that you want to get high with, you feel me? Some of that top shelf, grade A, nothing but the finest, nothing but that. Oh, yeah, when you put it in your blunt, you're gonna be like, damn. This shit smoke. That's what that is. Backpack boys. And you know we uh definitely are designer. You see it. Designer bags. So where can they get backpack boys? They can get it from the backpack boys. They can get it at the dispensary. Um wherever it may be sold. Sometimes it's in the bay, sometimes it's in Northern Cali. Most of the times it's Southern Cali. Let's just be real, you feel me? Um but yeah, it's everywhere. I mean really it's all over. You can find it everywhere. Shit smokes. Hell yeah. Man, you guys got hella strains, right? So how do you guys go about picking what strains get the, you know what I mean, the Backpack Boys stamp? Man, you got to smoke it. You got to taste it. You got to smell it. You got to look at it and be like, okay. If it, if you keep saying damn every time, then yeah, that's Backpack Boys for sure. For real. We can't have none of that, mm, uh, I don't know about that. Uh, that shit don't smoke right. I don't smell right. Man, look at that shit. Mm, don't even look good. Fuck all that. We don't got time for that shit. QC at its finest, for real. Quality check, quality control. If you want real dope, you want to fuck with the best. Nothing more, nothing less. You know what I mean? Hell yeah. yeah. How's that so, tasting? Man, this is tasted lovely. So yeah. tell me about some of the strays. Like, we got all types of shit, man. This is a long line of strains. I can't even fucking name them all. I'ma try though. You know what I mean? We got white cherry gelato. I know we got mazapan. Right now we smoking though. Which one is the Pemex? Oh yeah, that white Pemex. Mm mm mm. Over here. That's that. Oh, that's that Pemex. For real, for real. That's that Mexican gas. This is that Zidral. You know what I mean? You probably seen this in the local taqueria and on the bottle. It says Zidral. You feel me? Uh, we got Turon for the motherfucking Peruanos, you know what I mean? All my Peruvians out there in the building. Blue Gotti, make you feel real naughty. Smoke on that and choke on that and you gonna start to feel real hotty. You feel me? Yeah, this PMS. Dope. Yeah, I'm telling you, man. This is that, this is what I usually smoke at the end of the night. Not at the beginning. Because, <laughs> <Okay, laughs> uh, yeah. There's a few rappers that I, I ain't gonna say no names, but they'll come through for the session and start falling asleep midway. Like, gosh damn it, who handed him the Pemex? <laughs> what the fuck? But yeah, man, that's that dope. Hell yeah, man, I was at an event with you yesterday, right? And everybody was going crazy over there. So tell me about this. That's that dope. Pemex. That's that gas. You yes. ever been to Mexico? If you haven't, I'm going to tell you right now. Their Shell gasoline station is called Pemex with one M. You know what I mean? So when you go to Mexico, that's what you're going to see, Pemex. That's the gas station. So that's the motherfucking gas for that ass. Going to have you hella lit hella fast. Yeah. But yeah, so man, they was going crazy for this yesterday. Pippin. Yes, sir. Six-time champion. Best all-around player other than Jordan, you know what I mean? That was my niggas. <laughs> but yeah, Pippen was the man, for real. And uh, that shit smoked. Looks great, smokes great. Mm -mm -mm. Tasted in a motherfucker, too. Let me just tell you, everybody else is going crazy for it, though. Yeah. So what's the next strain, there? Next strain? Man, there's a whole line of motherfuckers. <coughs> <coughs> But in order to one up that, you must get better. You know what I mean? Yeah. But uh, we're going to have to take our time. Damn, my phones are going off the hook because people are supposed to show up. Yeah, hell yeah. Um, but nonetheless, we still doing this interview, though. You know what I mean? I'm trying to keep it litty with my committee. You know what I mean? Yeah. So if you could create the perfect bully weird strain, what would you mix? What would you cross? Would you make it the Scotty with the Mazapan? With the Pemex, what would you, you know what I mean? What would be the perfect strain for you? <coughs> oh, man. <coughs> <Yeah>. <coughs> that 
It's just smoking. <coughs> Woo! Let me take a drink to that. <coughs> so, the question was the perfect bully with strain. Well, yeah. let's say. If it was, you know what I mean? It's, we have all these, but what if Bully Wiz on it? You know what I mean? Like, what would be the perfect one? Man, really? Fuck. All of our, all of the strains on Backpack Boys is fire, bro. I couldn't even... Ooh, it's, that's a tough one. I'll tell you what my top five are, though. Lemon Cherry, Italian yeah. Ice, Pippin. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm fucking having a blank right now. Uh, Blue Guava Gelato. And, uh, what's that other one? Fuck. You know what? Blueberry Cruffin. <coughs> I was smoking on that for a long time, but we don't have that right now. No more. It's just, uh, gone. You know what I mean? <coughs> Blueberry <retired>. Cruffin. <coughs> that shit was fire. That sound dope. Yeah, yeah. Ask me what I'm puffing. I would have told y'all it was that Blueberry Cruffin. Yeah. For real. But... We smoking on all these goodies now, you know what I mean? Yeah. Bazapet, okay. Um, if you could smoke with three people that you ain't smoked with yet, who would you smoke with? Damn. That's a good question. Dead or alive? Dead or alive. <laughs> Dead or alive. I definitely would be smoking with my boy Pac, for sure. Yeah. Because if he was alive, I know me and him be fucking with each other, for sure. I know everybody that knew him. So I know I would have been in his presence, for sure. Um, I would say Mac Dre, but we've been we've been smoked a few before. <coughs> yeah. So Tupac. Who else? I ain't smoked with Snoop. Did you out smoke Snoop? Hell no. Nah. I don't smoke too much. <coughs> <laughs> <coughs> I've been through too many fires for that. <coughs> So you got Tupac, <coughs> Snoop, and um, <coughs> fuck it. You know what I think would be funny? I think Dave Chappelle would be funny as fuck. Yeah. Dave, we need to sit down and smoke, bro. For real. Need Next time you're in boys. the bay, tap in with me. Hello. Get you some backpack, boys, real quick. You know what I mean? How you prefer to smoke? Um, <coughs> I like to smoke... Uh, Backpack Boys weed that's on fire. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. Nah, I like papers. I like, uh, I mean, I smoke everything. Blunts. Uh, I even smoke out of the bong every once in a while. I don't really like smoking out of bongs like that, though, but I don't know. Um, I guess you would say papers, but I do like my blunts, though. Like, I don't know why. I just, uh, it's that high. I don't know. It just gets me. Woo! Like, for real, for real. That shit's fire. Yeah, hell yeah. So how do you see the company in five years? What's your goal? This motherfucking company is about to be on top of the world. Not just fucking in this nation. It's going to be global, for real. This is about to be a trend that's going to be never-ending. You know what I mean? <clears throat> we try to provide none but the best. Yeah. We quality check everything like a motherfucker. We won't even let it out if it's not dope to us. Why the fuck even release that shit? You know what I mean? Yeah, like if you wouldn't why? smoke it, why would like, you? Yeah, like if we ain't going to smoke it, <coughs> I don't want you to smoke that shit. For real. We don't want you to smoke that shit for nothing. If we ain't puffing on it, you ain't going to inhale that shit either. This shit's so dope. I Hell need, yeah. I need to stop smoking. This shit's going <laughs> to this shit gonna have me hot in the motherfucker, for real. <coughs> yeah, what's up with some, uh, <coughs> I see you some trays earlier, looking to get some merch at. Um, so the merch, you can find that at www.backpackboys.shop, and that's boys with a Z, not an S, you know what I mean? And, uh, yeah, you can find a lot of merch there, uh, we're bringing a lot more, we got a lot more, so stay tuned, we're definitely bringing a lot of shit for you guys to get. Cause I know they don't want the weed. They want merch. They want sweaters. They want shirts. Yeah. They want, they want the 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 trays, the lighters, and all that good stuff. The grinders, man. We finna do that for you. You feel me? We we gonna make sure everybody stay lit and stay saucy with that shit. Hell yeah! I'm ready. I'm ready. For real. So how has the COVID affected 
has it affected anything? You gonna be with you? You gonna be with the Backpack Boys? That's what you guys are doing. Man, if anything, shit, that shit increased everything, made everything better. Like Skyrocket for real, up. it's crazy. Everybody been stressing, so everybody need to smoke. Yeah. Like fuck, man, I'm over here tripping off this. Let me, hit, let me go ahead and choke on that one time. You know what I mean? Let me hit this weed, cause that's what I need. For real, motherfuckers be tripping. I know I be stressing too sometimes. I be like, damn, man, what the fuck? I be thinking I'm depressed and shit, and all I need is a fucking hit of a blunt or a hit of a joint. Like, fuck. <coughs> Just roll up It be one crazy. Time. Yeah, bro, like, I be tripping sometimes in my own head, and I know I will be like, damn. And then I'll just I'll roll something up, hit it, and be like, what? I was tripping. What the fuck was I even tripping on? Man, let me hit this shit. <laughs> For real. Sometimes I be tripping. I know y'all motherfuckers be tripping too. So go on and smoke some shit. Yeah. So tell me a crazy ass weed story. A crazy ass weed story. All right. Um, fuck. All right. So it was a smoke convention. Uh, you were there. It was at the Cow Palace. Um, Tone no, Log. I was, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was when Tone Log. I had just flew in from Portland. And Tone was like, bro, come over here. And I'm like, bro, I just got off the plane. I don't want to do shit. I just want to go shower and go to sleep. He's like, bro, come over here. I'm like, all right. I come over there. He's on some scooter. This motherfucker's wilding on the scooter, right? So I'm over here trying to run around, keep up with him. And uh, next thing you know, Jay Diggs pulled up. He had some syrup of uh, THC syrup. Had started pouring some shit up. Big ass cup and some grape. I don't know what it was, soda or juice. And I tasted that shit. I was like, ooh, this candy. This is like a like a fruity ass grape juice. Like it was weird. I thought it was Kool-Aid, like a motherfucker. I started sipping on that shit too much. Next thing you know, we walking around. Hey, hit this. Oh, I got this big ass blunt. Hit this. And then somebody <laughs> came through with a dab. Smacked me, knocked me the fuck out of there. That shit was the worst, cause I couldn't stop fucking choking. I couldn't breathe. Next thing you know, I sit down at my at my booth and I'm sitting there like Oh, nigga, I'm not breathing. What the fuck? <laughs> Breathe. Breathe. Hold on. Breathe. Like, nigga, breathe! I'm like, I'm yelling at myself like, all right, bro, breathe. Come on, man. I don't hear you inhaling, man. Just inhale. Inhale, breathe. And then I was, all right, cool. Now let it out. Let it out. Come on, man. Let it out. I'm sitting there like, nigga, let that shit out. And then, oh, all right, now do it again. Do it again. And I'm over there tripping for like a good 20 minutes. Motherfucker can't even breathe. I'm like, bro, breathe, motherfucker. I'm ready to choke myself out. Like, nigga, breathe. Fuck, I'm tripping on my motherfucking dome. I look over to the left. I see some chick dying. She's over there like, that nigga tripping. Look at this one. And I was like, damn, I liked that bitch too. I was going to try to holler at her. Fuck, yeah, <laughs> that killed game. But anyways... Yeah, man, that was a crazy ass story, bro. I couldn't remember how to breathe. That's how bad it was. <laughs> Shit, the niggas started really tripping, man. I couldn't. Man, the events uh, was crazy because every booth is trying to give you a dab. Uh, you hit something, everybody, give you some yeah. Edibles, trying to get you gone. I'm trying to have you ripped. Yeah. And don't let you be somewhat of a celebrity because they really going to try to get you high. They want to like, see you there. They want to see you oh, die. You, they you, give you the oh, you think dab. you don't hit this dope then? Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, gotcha. No, you didn't get me. Not this time. But yeah, that time they did. Fuck, they fucked me up. Mm, mm, mm. It was a wrap. I was done for. I couldn't remember how to breathe. I can't think of a crazier story than that. I mean, shit. Have you ever forgot to breathe? Yeah, huh? hell yeah. You ever had a moment where you like, damn, how do you breathe again? Nah, them dabs. I ain't doing it. What the fuck is going on? Them dabs be crazy. Yeah, man. Them motherfuckers be fucking me up. For like five seconds, I'm out of my body, like. Out of my body. For real, for real. So right now, we about to smoke this push pop. Push pop. So what's this push pop? Push pop is some fucking, some nice uh, citrusy, citrusy uh, strain that we got. Shit's fucking fire, man. Tastes good. I don't remember the, uh, the cross right now. I've got like... 200 some strains and shit. It tastes like a little like tangy, I'm a some I don't fucking shit. lemon. <clears throat> that shit smell good than a motherfucker though. I'm not going front this shit. If I was Tone Loke, I'd probably eat that right now. <laughs> I'm not Tone Loke. I'm gonna smoke it. 
I'm going to smoke this shit. <laughs> For real. Hell yeah. So how does this weed and this music shit, you know what I mean, go ahead and hand with you? Shit, honestly, it's been, uh, it's been a marvelous thing because like every song, not every song, but like I would say a good 70% of my songs uh, are featured with the artist. Like, like I've, I've done songs with hella people, uh, pr practically all of Detroit. Um, bro, everybody's talking about Backpack Boys in the songs. Like, each song has been like, it's almost like it goes hand in hand. Like, because I'm gonna make sure motherfuckers are smoking. Like, they come to the studio, they gonna record with me, and they got a song with me, or they pay me for a verse. Bro, you gonna smoke. Like, bro, that's just natural. You in the studio, we got a vibe, we got a smoke. We got, I'm gonna drink, because that's what brings me to the table. So, that's gonna turn me up a little bit while I'm too high. Yeah. I gotta remember how to. I gotta have, remember how to breathe. Remember, yeah. so I gotta keep that. All right, I'm. I'm. I'm gonna be able to breathe and I'm gonna drink at the same time. All right, watch. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it going. But um, so we'll sit down, chop it up. You know what I mean? For a little bit, play some beats, roll up, start smoking. Next thing you know, we over there vibing and shit, and boom, a song gets done. Uh, so really, it goes hand in hand because everybody that I do a song with, we all smoke. Unless they don't smoke. And there's, there's been like two or three people that didn't smoke, which was kind of weird. Um, not on their sense, but just like, damn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now we don't got that vibe yeah. no more. It ain't that pie head vibe. So I did say 70%. You know what I mean? <laughs> so there is going to be that good old, you know what I mean? Amount of motherfuckers that don't smoke, but that's fine. That's fine with me. More for me. <laughs> yeah, up. More for the engineer. I know he's happy about it. So what? How would you? How did you start smoking? Holy shit! How did I start smoking? Yeah, and when? <laughs> <coughs> All right. So I was in high school. It was my freshman year. Um, I hadn't smoked because I have strict Salvadorian parents. Oh my gosh! I'm Bro, Jack. Just... Shit, my mom tried to cut my ear off one time when I got my ear pierced, bro. They're, they're crazy. So, uh, yeah, I didn't start smoking until I was a freshman in high school. I was with some of my buddies. They were smoking some fucking bammer. I remember that for sure. Because as soon as I hit that shit, that shit burnt my throat. I was like, ah, fuck am I smoking this shit for? It? I couldn't stop coughing. That's what fucked me up and got me hella high. And then I go back. I'm like, we're in between periods. And I'm like, well, all right, well, fuck. I got to go back to class. So I go... And in order to get back to class, you had to climb a fence. And the fence had these little spiky things at the top. So I'm like climbing over the fence. And then next thing you know, a dog pulls up, starts barking at my homies. They jump on, on top of cars. And I'm like hella high like, oh, nigga, nigga, this dog's about to eat me. Fuck that. So I grab the chain. I start climbing up. And I throw one leg over. And I throw the other leg over. And like the backpack kind of like flopped over and pulled me down. So I'm like yanked. I try to like get a hold of the top when my leg is my my <laughs> pet leg got caught at the top I'm sitting there like this the bell just rings everybody starts walking by I'm hella high and I'm over here like fuck what the fuck damn I'm hella lit I'm hanging on the top of this motherfucking fence and this fucking all these you know all my uh, schoolmates is walking by and shit I'm like damn fucking high moment and then my homie walks by like yo you want some help? <laughs> he takes my leg, got got caught. He takes it, uh, gets it on cotton shit. And yeah, I was back to class after that, and I felt embarrassed like a motherfucker. Shit. But I mean, fuck, that was my high moment, my first high moment. That was a hell of a story, too. Shit. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> what else are we talking about? <laughs> man, everything. Everything, uh, really. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> so, shit, let's cut it to the music, man. So, how'd you get into music? Ooh, okay, so. Oh, damn, I'm about to show my age. I'm about to show my age right smoking, now. Look, look. Smoking. I'm about to show my age because, look, my first song that I ever even tried to fucking rap to, I wasn't even trying to rap. I really, I was just trying to dissect what they were saying. So I wrote down every word he said, and then I tried to apply my own type of shit to what he was saying and how he said it. So I wrote down his, I was listening to Bow Down, West, West Coast Connection, West Side Connection. Yeah. West Side Connection, bow down. Bow down. And I'm sitting to write all the ver the words on the verse. 
And then I changed a few words, and I was like, okay, this sounds like uh, something I would say. Boom. And then I wrote another one, and I wrote another line, and I wrote another. And next thing you know, I had a whole verse. And I'm like, uh, that's not that hard. Shit. You know what I mean? But, I mean, you got to come up with your own patterns and all that. So that gets a little harder. But, uh, yeah, it wasn't. It, I, I don't know. It just, I felt like it was natural. I was like, oh, this is easy. After I, like, dissected it and exactly what they did and how they did it, I was like, oh, fuck. Next thing you know, I'm going to try to do this shit. And then I did. I did one song. And, uh, fuck. <laughs> fuck. I went to jail for a very long time and didn't get back out. And then I got back on the street, did some heat, you know? Made some shit. Hell yeah. yeah. So what you got coming then? Uh, shit. I got a lot of shit coming, really, a lot of shit. Let me just uh, throw out a few names. <clears throat> we'll start with Sada Baby. That's from Detroit. Uh, let me let me let me name off a few Detroit guys. So I got songs with uh, Sada Baby. Uh, Is Sada Baby uh, Baby one out right now? No, nah, it's not out yet. I haven't released it yet. I'm, okay, I heard you I shot mean, a video too. Uh, yeah, we shot a so Bro Jackson. Yeah, okay, we did. Okay. We did. Yeah, we recorded the song. Uh, I, he had he had came out. We did a song one day. I'm over here like, he's only here for one more night. Fuck it, we might as well get a song and a video done while you out here. Yeah, I'm like, out. bro, what's up, man? Can we knock it out? Like, he's like, yeah. And then I'm like, oh, fuck, now I got to get a video guy. Like, I'm like, bro, my bro, bro, he got me. Bro, what's good? Hey, can you fucking do me a favor and be ready in like an hour? He's like, what? An hour? Like, bro, can you please? He's like, bro, all right, let's do it. Come on. I'm like, fuck yeah. So I got the video guy. Now I got to call girls. I'm over here like, fuck. So I start calling every model I know, like, yo, hey, what you doing in an hour? I got Sada, baby, pull up. Yeah. She's like, oh, fuck, yeah, pull it up. I had, like, ten girls, but really they didn't make it because I ended up fucking, I don't know, man. I, I think I changed the location at the last minute or something, and fuck. I saw only two girls ended up showing up, but they were bad as fuck, shit. Yeah, bad as fuck, so, I mean, that, yeah, they were cool. I like it. <laughs> Hell, yeah, we're going to be waiting on that. But, yeah, bro, that shit is going to be dope. Me and Sada, baby, it's called Fast Lane. Be on the lookout for that. Um, but yeah, just to name a few other cats, I mean, shit, tonight we got Rio the Young OG pulling up. He's also yeah. from that area, from Michigan. Um, we I, I did a song with Baby's World, Baby's Money. Uh, who else? Fucking, uh, man, a lot of motherfuckers. I'm just having a... I can't think right now. Yeah, what's oh, out right now? FMB DZ. I forgot I did a song with him. That uh, was out. Nah, I ain't released none of these. Okay, so you got to See, okay. I'm telling you, I got hella shit. Y'all okay. just ain't ready because I'm putting it out strategically. I got a whole team behind me. I don't just do anything now by myself. I got peoples that, you know, are looking out for my best interest. Yeah, and sure they know, runs they, know right. they know how to fucking run a certain campaign for a certain song or do it a certain way to make sure we get growth, you know? And that's what I'm doing is just growing. I'm building strategically. I'm I'm in I'm in deep right now. I'm in who deep. Straight up this music shit. You ain't gonna see you ain't gonna stop seeing me for a long time. Yeah. Hell yeah. And I, you got a song for this too, huh? Mm-hmm. Me and B Legit. It's called Pippin. <coughs> okay. <coughs> Backpack was... boys be legit. As a matter of fact. Hello. Yeah. You know it. That video's out, huh? Yeah, we're gonna do a video for that soon. We ain't even did that. Okay, but we just we just dropped a song, the song just a out. single okay, alone. Look that up, look that up. <coughs> that did some numbers. I also did um, a yeah, song with All Black that I just released uh, two weeks ago. Yeah, what was the, what's None, that one called? It's called Nothing to Do with Me. Yeah, and basically, if it ain't got nothing to do with money, then it don't produced got nothing to do with DTB, me. Produced by DTB, right? Yeah, produced by DTB. Yeah, my bro DTB. I'm gonna go crazy. Straight up, that Pippin was produced by Tracks FDR. You got a solo um, one now too. What's that solo one you just dropped? Oh, Clock Out. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's a whole storyline be behind it. Shit is dope. You got to listen to it to really understand. <coughs> Matter of fact, I'm about to lock it in tonight. I'm about to talk to the man himself. Yeah. Bro Jackson. We're going to get this shit straightened out. We're going to take care of that. But we got to bring a movie for that one. Because that's going to be... It has a whole story. Yeah. So, like, man, if we could just get this story out there on video... Oh, shit. It's a wrap. Because I know this is this is one of those stories, like, you hear in hip-hop. True hip-hop. True, deep, under... You know, like, that underground, that shit. Like, oh, fuck. He's talking about some shit right now. Hold on. I'm listening. Okay. 
I f man, I could see everything that he said. That was a movie right there. I just pictured that shit. And uh, yeah, bro, this is one of those. And clock know, out. Clock out. Clock out. It's already been <laughs> added to five Spotify playlists uh, within two days. You know, Who produced that one. Uh, Tracks FDR produced that one. No. Slapper, slapper. It's got a Detroit type beat to it. And when I started, I was just like, fuck it, I'm just going to talk shit on it. Next thing you know, I'm not even talking shit, I'm just talking a story, and the, the story just developed, and I was just like, fuck. Next thing you know, I have a whole fucking beginning and end of a fucking story, it's crazy. And uh, the clock out part is basically, they finna clock out, I mean, shit. You only got one way to go now, you gotta clock out. Which one we opening next? Yeah, what are we opening next? Because, man, this is some fire, I'm over here high as shit. What is, uh, what do we got? White Every cherry day. gelato. <coughs> you tell me, you tell me. <coughs> yeah. Let me tell you right now, this white cherry gelato will make you feel like you won the lotto. Because, uh, this is definitely a go-to. For sure. I didn't say this earlier because I didn't want to overwhelm y'all with just hella cherry gelatos. But, like, white cherry gelato falls right under lemon. Like, they're, they're neck and neck right there, like, pfft. I mean, shit, white cherry gelato, lemon cherry gelato. And I'm off, I know hella people are going to be like, why you didn't pick black cherry gelato? I mean, shit, black cherry gelato's fire. I'm not going to say it ain't. But it was my top five, motherfucker, and I chose. You know what I mean? <laughs> shit. <laughs> but uh, it's good, man. Oh, yeah, that Toronto. Mm. This will go crazy? Crazy. That shit's a wild one. Put that down. We're not going down that hole tonight. Or no, yeah, we can. I'm not saying that I won't, but I mean, I'm just saying. That's a little hard. <laughs> we, little... should, we should probably take it easy. Because this shit, woo wee Finna have us lit. At the end of the show, we ain't even gonna know how to talk. We just gonna be like... Yeah. It's a wrap. <laughs> Smoke sessions. Smoke sessions, for real. I'm smoking. I'm lit. Fuck. Let me take Hell another yeah. sip of this shit here. Man, you said you smoked with Mac Dre? Yeah, bro. What was that like, man? Let, you know that shit mean? was a wild event, bro. It was, it was, I mean, fuck. I, all I can remember is motherfucker was roasting everybody. Everybody. It was just... Bro, it was, it's a vibe, you know what I mean? When you kick it with certain people, it's like you get their vibe. It's, and they either, like, outgoing. Maybe they're just really quiet. But you just got to, like, break them out of the shell or something. I don't know. It'd be weird sometimes. But some motherfuckers just got that, ugh. And they just, uh, hey, ha, ha. Next thing you know, the whole room's laughing and they all talking shit. And then, like, that man had that presence. He walked in the room and he just, it's like somebody turned on the lights. You know what I mean? Boop. Oh, shit. Last camera action, you know? And that's what I, like, I learned a little bit of what I got from everybody that I've been around with. And obviously, he's been someone that I, I looked up to for a very, you know, very long time. And not that I don't now, but it's just like, you know, it's like, fuck. <laughs> really, man, it's, I don't even know, I'm, I'm high, I'm high, nah, was, nah, I'm nah, high, nah, I don't nah, even nah, know nah, what I was talking about, nah, but nigga, I'm lit, know. <laughs> nah, you letting the world know, yeah, I'm lit, I'm lit, but, you know, what's, um, reason I asked that too, cause, you know, I always see you on stage going dumb, and, you know, don't nobody go dumb like Bully Wiz, <laughs> hey, I love fact. going dumb, <laughs> I love and going dumb, that's a dumb. fact, bro, that's crazy you said that, thank you, thank you, appreciate it. I appreciate it, for real, for real. I'm trying to do my thing, you know. My main objective, if I'm the host, I feel like I need to bring everybody up and I got to make them feel like they're a superstar, even if they're a nobody or if they're a one-time body or if they're just, this is my first day, you know. Like, I'm going to make you feel like you're the star that you want to be. So when I present you and I, uh, okay, i would always be like, yo, so what's your name? How do you say it? Where are you from? Okay, I got you. Boom. Yo, next up, we got da -da 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 from over here. What it is? Can he come over here? You know, and the motherfucker's like, oh, shit. All right. Yo, go, what's up? And now he's like hella hype. And then I'm over there just, all right, once this beat drop, it better be dope because uh, you're going to be able to tell by the way I'm dancing. And I'm like, oh, and if it's a dope one, they love me because I'm going to go retarded. The whole song. You know I'm going to be on stage acting a dumb. I'm, I'm, I'm going to act a fool for real. Make them feel like they're the superstar that they really is just because the beat was telling me to go. You know what I mean? Tell me when to go. Tell me when to go. Tell me when to go. 
All right, I'm high. I'm high. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. Hey, what's it like hosting Cali Fest, though, man? Oh, man. man. That, that shit was shit. fun, bro. Me too. Whole fucking little mishap, man. But, you know, shit happens for a reason. Um, yeah. But, uh, bro, this shit was the... Bro, that was one, one of my favorite shits to do every year. For real. Yeah, just because, you know, it was... We was rocking the whole time, all day. Yeah. High, bro, I used to work around. out to, for that day. I used to, like, train... Day in, day out, train to make sure I could last all day. Like, my prime objective was, if I'm hosting that bitch from 1 in the afternoon to, like, 10, 11 at night. Yeah. Whew, bro, and I'm dancing for every song, and I'm not taking breaks. I'm up there gigging the whole time. Boy, smoking, drinking, and who knows what else. Um, But, uh, yeah, shit. I know I'm not going to last day. if I'm not training. Like, I... Bro, it's hard to just dance for one song, let alone a whole fucking 10 hours and shit. Man, I'm just saying. It, that was definitely a workout. And at the end of the night, I remember I'd be drenched in sweat. And my <laughs> body would be like, no, motherfucker, you are not doing anything else. There's no after party for you after this. You got to go home. Go to sleep. <laughs> rest it off. Tomorrow's going to hurt. Just believe that. Tomorrow's going to hurt. That was a hell of a workout. I used to love that shit, though. I used to love that shit, bro. I still do. Fuck. I mean, shit, honestly. Don't give me the motherfucking opportunity to yeah. host Rolling Loud or some shit. Yeah, man. Because uh, every artist is going to hate me. I'm the motherfucking star here, motherfucker. I don't know about you. But, motherfucker, I'm feeling myself. <laughs> and if I'm in the bay, oh, yeah, it's a wrap. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't hand me the mic in front of a million people in my motherfucking area. It's a wrap. You know I'm going to go retarded shit. I have to. It's my motherfucking birthright. Motherfucker, I'm from here. Period. I'm going harder than you no matter what. Straight up. That's my objective. Like, shit. Ooh, I can see myself training for that. I can see myself start working out and just, oh, I'm running marathons and shit. Fuck that. Watch. Just watch. Come and roll it around. You're going to find out. It's almost like a wrestling match. Like, whoa. Just oh, watch. Man. Stay tuned, motherfuckers. That's a hella huge. <laughs> going crazy. I'm lit. What's this one right here we about to open next? Zidral. Zidral. You gotta say it like a Spaniard. Zidral. Zidral. Well, actually, I don't think they pronounce that shit like that. But whatever. You know, I'm just talking shit. What's up with y'all? How y'all feeling? How y'all doing? Y'all yeah. motherfuckers lit? I know I am. Shit. Hell yeah. This backpack. Boy, oh, shit, my boy man. got it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, okay. You know, them, them official bags be tricky to open. Motherfuckers don't play. Damn, I'm some side, good size nugs. Nice little nuggets. Yeah, chunky. I like them. Yeah, man, you know, I've been there hella times at shows, man, with you on, on, on stage with burning shit, gigging, going dumb. Woo! You already know, bro, that's what we do. That's, yeah. what, that's what we do. What's your relationship like with burning, man? I mean, man, Bird is the man. Down. I mean, shit. He, he, bro, he's a, he's a legend in the game. You know, paved the way for a lot of people. You know what I mean? Honestly, shit. Yeah, bro, he's he's fucking dope. It's good people. I fucked with him. I've always fucked with him. I fucking man, I appreciate it, bro. He didn't have to bring me out on his fucking on his stage, one year. And uh, what was uh, what's the dude from uh, fuck? What was his name? Scott Storch, he was on the on the on the piano or the keyboard, and he was playing some Mac Dre, and he calls me Bully Wiz, come to the stage. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, what the fuck? And I go to the stage. He's like, bro, show him how we dance in the back. Oh man! And I had already been dancing in the background to all his music. I was tired. My legs were cramping up. I needed a water like ten times ago. And uh, yeah, bro, it was, it was just fucking wild, man. That shit. And I was just like, fuck, all right, now I'm on, I'm on, I'm on, man, I'm in front of everybody. It. Scott Storch is on the keyboards, they're playing Mac Dre, and it's my time to go, you know what I mean? Just said my name, so, bro. Okay, let's go! I break a leg, let's do it on stage, you know? Shit. I can at least have a story after that, be like, snam, that motherfucker that broke his leg, he went so hard with Mac Dre. Huh. I done broke a fucking kneecap in that bitch. Hell yeah. <laughs> I remember that shit too. That shit was dope. Yeah. That shit, bro. 
Man, I remember I was sent to a pretty ass chick too. And I was like, oh, oh yeah, I'm trying to holler at her. Bully Wiz, get on stage. I'm like, what? Oh, nigga. Hold on one second. I'll be right back. <laughs> Call him my name. She was like, what? <laughs> like, yeah, bitch, they called me. I'll be right back. Let me pop my collar one time. Hello? <laughs> so I go to the stage. I'm like, yo, what's up? What's good, cut? He's like, bro. So I'm dancing with my back. Oh, fuck. All right, here we go. Oh, let's go! And then they, you know, Brody. the rest is history. Fuck, I had to go retarded. Hell yeah. Oh man, I love that though, bro. Yeah, so Burner, like, back to back to Burner, man, he's good people. I've always fucked with him. He's, man, he's a fucking legend in the game. You know what I mean? He's the man. Hell yeah. He's, he's good people. So, but uh, you and Tone, look, I always see you guys rocking. Oh yeah, that's, that's my brother. That's my bro. For real. At the car shows, you know what I mean? Bro, that man he took me under his wing and fucking showed me the ropes. Uh, and like, you know, like, it was like uh, a partnership from the gate. Like, it was just like, bro, you know, we rocking together. Like, you rocking, I'm rocking. I'm rocking, you rocking type shit. And that's how it's always been. Me and me and Lok, man, that's, that's my bro, you know what I mean? And he knows that, you know what I mean? Hell yeah, and, that's dope. And, and anybody that's around him knows that, you know. Anybody that knows me knows that, you know. That's my bro. It's number love. Period, period. Um, Backpack Boys, back to Backpack Boys. Who's in Backpack Boys? Man, everybody's in Backpack Boys. You know, if you smoke Backpack, you a Backpack Boy too. If you buy the Backpack Boy sweater, you a Backpack Boy too. Yeah. You know what I mean? We all Backpack Boys. In all reality, I mean, shit, I know I wore a backpack to school, so I'm a Backpack Boy. Shit, I know I put a lot of shit in my backpack too. Matter of fact, the boy is um, on a song with me, and he's talking about Backpack. Matter of fact, there's hella motherfuckers on the songs that's talking about Backpack. Y'all motherfuckers, I'm just naming motherfuckers. I just yeah. remembered. Oh, yeah, I did a song with the boy. I forgot. That one out yet? Yeah. S-O-B-R-B-E. Nah, I haven't dropped it yet. Okay, so, got... so I'm telling you, I got... Man, I got so much shit. I got like three or four songs with Cool John. Uh, I got one with... Uh, man, okay, see, now I got to... Okay, let me slow down. Because I can keep going. Let me just slow down. Let's just keep going. Let's go. Yeah. No, um, no, tell me. That's what, that's what bro, we Bro, I got so it. much shit, cool bro. John, it's crazy. Okay. Yeah, else, we man? did uh, this song with Young Chob and Chippers. Oh, the Young Chop, you got a video to that one too, huh? Yeah, you I did a song with Young that. Chop. It's called Heartbeat of the Street. That, we already did the video. Did the cover for the song. Yeah. That's going to be the next one that is going to be next to drop. Um, it's called Heartbeat of the Street. And then we did a remix with uh, Detroit's very own Baby Money. And uh, he's fucking, he killed it on that shit. Oof. And it's a, it's, it, like, it's a baby with a Detroit type of feel to it. It's weird. But we long lost cousins anyway, so, I mean, regardless, you're going to feel it one way or another. You know what I mean? Whether you're from the Bay or from Detroit, that shit go hard. And, uh, yeah, Baby Money went retorted on that shit. Ever since he came in, he was like, he heard that song, like, bro, bro, my bad, my bad. I already did something to that. Play something else. And then he was like, oh. And then, like, after we finished the song, he was like, all right, play some more beats. And I started playing more beats. And then I played that one again. I'm like, bro, 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 we already did. He was like. <laughs> oh, like, yeah, I was uh, like, you know what? Matter of fact, put that song on. We're going to make room. We're going to put him in the second verse. You know what I mean? We're going to do this shit right. Let's do it. And we did a remix to it. So I even I haven't even dropped the song. I already did a remix to it. So yeah. you're welcome, motherfuckers. Hello. <laughs> We're going to have a Detroit remix here pretty soon. Hello. So where can they find you at right now to check out what you got out right now? Right now. I am on Spotify, iTunes, Apple Music, Napster, uh, what is it, Google Play, fucking Tidal, iHeartRadio, all the digital music outlets that you can think of, anything, whatever you use in your town or in your country or in your country's country or in your little section of fucking the hood or wherever the fuck you're from. I'm just saying, whatever you use to play music, you can just type in Bully Wiz and something will pop up. You know what I mean? And if it doesn't, let me know and I'm going to make it get pop up. You know what I mean? We're going to fix this shit. Hit me at BullyWiz. Or you can go to BullyWiz.com. Uh, in Instagram, at BullyWiz. B-U-L-L-Y-W-I-Z. And, uh, yeah. I can say it in Spanish, too, but I'm not going to do that right now. But we, we, can talk, we can talk about that later, all right? Matter of fact, talk about Spanish. I got songs in Spanish, too. What? Okay. Yeah, I got like 20 songs in Spanish. 
Any I'm of those featuring, out? bro. I haven't dropped none of them. And okay. I did some with Grammy, Grammy nominees, Grammy award winners, people that are like in the top reggaeton shit. Like they're, yeah. bro, doing songs with like all these famous fucking artists, bro. He's on a fucking video with these motherfuckers, bro. Like, bro, I'm telling you, I'm doing songs with hella people, bro. Not just English. I'm doing it in Spanish too. I, hey, my, my, man, the possibilities are endless. What made you start doing Spanish songs? Uh, the fact that I'm pretty good at it. Uh, and, and I listen to it. You know, like, when I slap, sometimes I'm in, like, in Latin mode. I, I don't want to just listen to just English because, like, bro, I got two sides. You know what I mean? I got yeah. that, that Salvadoran. You know what I mean? So that, you know, plus the modern, more urban feel of the new age shit. It's just, bro, the sounds are so dope. I'm like, damn. Oh. And and my boy's been telling me also that we can create a lane with the Spanish shit doing it a certain way. And it's like, fuck. Okay, well, fuck. That sounds like a great idea because it's that's what's popping in English and nobody's done it in Spanish. So if I do it in Spanish, then who else is going to want to manage? Yeah. You know what I mean? For real. They, I'm just saying, we're going to move 10 times ahead. Yeah, we can't wait to hear that. I'm ready. I'm ready. Bro, it's going to be amazing. So which Matter of be- fact, I did a song with GT from Detroit. And uh, he uh, got who's on the GT Spanish from, track. Who's GT from Detroit? GT? Yeah. Oh, man. Uh, let me show you who GT is. But, yeah, he has a song with uh, Phoenix, Phoenix, Phoenix Flexing. Uh, and uh, he's, done, bro, he's done a lot of shit. He's pretty big in, in Detroit. He's dope. Dope. Dope as fuck. And that's in Spanish, you said? <laughs> yeah. He, he started listening to the beats, and the songs that I had already started. And he was like... That's bro, he, uh, he was like, yeah, he heard the beat. He was like, bro, that's a dope ass beat. What are you saying in Spanish? And they're like, I, I read to what, he, what, what I said and uh, translated into English. He's like, what? Oh, nigga, I'm getting on this. I was like, really? For real? He was like, yeah, yeah. No, I want to get on this. Nah, nah, nah. I'm like, oh, shit. All right, well, fuck it then. We on this one then. I was not expecting this, but whatever, let's do it. Let the man live. Fuck it. We gonna do it. And then my verse had to be Spanish and English just because I wanted to add a twist to it to where, like, it incorporated the Spanish and it incorporated the English, too. So that's how that song developed, and that's not released yet, either. Um, I also got a song with Paid Will. Uh, that boy is, whew, fire. He got some, he's also from Detroit. That boy got so fire. What made you reach out to... Yeah. Um, uh, all these artists in Detroit. Man, bro, everybody. I fuck with a lot of Detroit people. Um, and uh, I fuck with Be Legit. And Be Legit fucks with hella Detroit people. Like, bro, like, man, it's, that's, that's, that's our long lost cousins, for real. Like, that's yeah. the bay. That's not the bay, but, it, you know, that's the bay outside of the bay. Like, that's how I look at it. Like, I could go over there and feel at home. You know what I mean? Like, it, it's just my peeps. You know, that's I fuck with a lot of Detroit. And Detroit, I mean, I, I could say that Detroit fucks with me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Detroit does fuck with me and I fuck with Detroit like like I said shit. You fuck with me, I fuck with you. Hello. You know what I mean? And I'm rocking with them, bro. They they all fucking got their own sound, they all shit's dope. Bro, and it's that real shit. I know. Yeah. I know because I'm, <laughs> I'm yeah. with them. You, you know, did like the songs shit. here or you flew out you flew out there to do some of the songs? No, nah, I had everybody come out here. I don't know. I I can't leave the Bay Area. It's hard. It's hard. Yeah. If I leave, I'm losing. So, like, why lose? I might as well just stay here. And then, fuck it, motherfuckers gonna come here anyway. So when you here, man, that's that what's is, up. Yeah. But it is. You know where it's at? So come handle that. You feel me? For real. We gonna drop that heat. Man, man me, that. along with the shop studios, man, the work, everything, the sound here is amazing. They the do, shop studio, where's, the shop that's where studios, we at right here. Uh, yeah. Let us know the IG. Richmond, uh, California. Um, the shop one, studios. One, the shop studios. Studios, and then uh, my engineer, Sound God, uh, the shop. Sound God, make sure you tap in with him, man. Also, he's fucking fire. Will Hanato, man, uh, fuck. How'd you link in with them? I uh, okay. So this is how I ended up finding out about my home studio. I'm glad to say that I can say that that's my home studio. Fucking um. So um. I wanted to do a song with DTB because I was hearing his music so much. I was always yeah. hearing DTB on the beat. That's so you had bro. to come out here and, and grab the beat? Well, really? I fucking tapped in with him and he's like, uh, I was like, yo, what's up, bro? Um, I've been looking for you. He was like, 
really? I was looking for you. I was like, what? What the fuck you mean you were looking for me? He was like, no, nah, man, you with the Backpack Boys, da, 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 da. I didn't even know who to talk about. Backpack Boys, that lemon cherry gelato smoke. And next thing you know, I'm like, well, shit, I was trying to talk to you because I keep hearing your name in all these beats. I always hear DTB on the beat. That's bro. I want to know what's good, yeah. bro. Shit. And then he was like, oh, yeah, da, 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 da. And, you know, of course, I had to get his feel for me. I had to get his feel for him. And, bro, we just, we clicked from the gate. And I was like, man, no, no, no problem. And he, he had me come here for the first time when he was going to show me the first ever few beats that he had for me. And, bro, I never left. Like, I was just here. I was like, what the fuck? Nah, man, I didn't even know this was here. And then, like, Josh was talking to me, and then next thing you know, we were talking a little bit in Spanish, and I was like, oh, shit, I'm at home. <laughs> yeah. I'm at home, shit. So I fucked with it, and now I can even, I feel so comfortable here that that's how I even developed the Spanish side of me. Because before I was like, I would do it, but I wouldn't do it like how I do it right now. And to be able to say I got, like, 20 songs in Spanish, bro, that's, that's a big feat at its own, you know what I mean? Like. At my disposal, I could drop any song. I got songs with Los Racas. I got songs with Villano Sam from uh, the Dominican Republic. Man, yeah. I got, bro, I got songs with a lot of guys in New York that are popping also. My boy Don Chino, you know what I mean? Don he Chino, just, he yeah. out here in the Bay right now too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just came over here. He was he seen me in LA, so we flew into LA. I was like, bro, I'm not from LA though. You got to come to the Bay. So he... We did a song out there. We did a video out in L.A. while we were out there. And then we came up to the Bay. And, did, uh, and then <laughs> we didn't do no music up there. <laughs> but <laughs> at least we got it done somewhere, right? Yeah. Shit. And the song is a hit, too. Just wait till y'all hear that shit. For real. Hell yeah. Shout out Don Chino. No lie. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get into the eye of these uh, Spanish big, big, big uh, time, you know, worldwide record labels. You know what I mean? But... If there ain't no big money on the table, I don't even want to talk to him because I can do it by myself. Yeah. But it would be nice. You know what I mean? If I could get some help, fuck it. Hell yeah. It all depends how much they're trying to help. Y'all motherfuckers better be serious because I'm serious about my motherfucking music, for real. So if you're going to offer me something, don't fucking make me laugh at you. Man, offer me something, for real. Or else don't come at all, for real. Fuck a record label. I can do this Straight shit by up. myself. Well, see, man, you got all them features already, so, so man, so what's the plan? When you gonna drop them? When you gonna start dropping the Spanish stuff? Really, um, that's the whole thing. I'm trying, because I got the English side down right now. I can always develop more and get more people for that, but, like, right now, I think that's good. Uh, I gotta get more Spanish side now. Um, people, as far as, you know, being able to work the background and, get me into places, get me in the playlists and all this other shit, you know what I mean? So where motherfuckers start seeing me, yeah. get me on the blogs and, you know, all that shit, you know what I mean? But, I mean, it's all it's all a matter of time. I already, I'm already talking to a few guys and and uh, we're going to see how that develops, you know? I want to see numbers. I want to see what they've done, you know, before I even jump in face first, you know what I mean? Fuck that. Show me what your track record's like, you know? What the fuck, what are you doing, you know what I mean? Because yeah. I know what I'm doing, shit. Straight up. Keeping it lit. Smoke sessions with Young Monk yeah. and Bro Jackson. Smoke session. So this is what we smoking right now. Hold it up. <coughs> Hit him with the questions. Okay, boom. Before we close it out, man, we'd like to uh, hit you with some questions. Ouch. And as you know, it's real simple. Real simple? Okay, yeah. I hope you're simple shit. <laughs> it's real, you know, just to see, you know what I mean? Real quick, <laughs> I'm just going to kick it off. You know what I mean? Hot or cold? What? Hot, hot or cold? Yeah. Hot uh, or cold. cold. Red or blue? Red. Foreigns or old school? Foreigns or old school? Yeah. No imports? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you like imports, huh? Yeah, I do. Okay. <laughs> Xbox or PlayStation, dear? Ah oh, man, I've always been a PlayStation guy. But back to it, though. Let's say if you had to choose foreigners or old school. 
Fuck, old school. Okay, okay. I've been around it too much. Papers or bong? Papers. Papers, papers. Nike or Adidas? Nike. Indica or Sativa? Indica. Hip hop or R and B? Hip hop. Hennessy or Patron? Oh shit! I'm a Ciroc guy. I like vodka. <laughs> Fucking Patron. Money or fame? Oh shit! Oh man, I don't even care about that shit. I want the money. OG Kush or Purple? Uh, what? OG, OG Kush. Or purple. Purple. Tupac or Biggie? Tupac. Ass or titties? Ass. Hard liquor or champagne? Hard liquor. White cherry gelato or black cherry gelato? <laughs> I'm going to go with the lemon and uh, white cherry, white cherry. Hell yeah. That's what we had too. That's what we were smoking yeah, earlier. Yeah, we smoking that white cherry gelato. <laughs> For real. Man, I'm starting to feel it though. I'm lit. I'm lit. Yeah. <laughs> this is Smoke Sessions. Smoke Sessions. Young Buck. Bully Wiz. You know what it is. Bro Jackson was handy. Rocking. Keeping it lit. The only way we know how. And that is by smoking. <coughs> and of course. But yeah, man. Fucking. <coughs> she's wild, man. We finna pass pop that, it pass that blunt to the camera.